Previously on Survivor. Holly and Faluke made long-term plans for the game. Girl, that'll be me, you, and Victoria making it to the final three if we can get all the guys, out. All the guys out. And after Rafiki ended their three-challenge losing streak, Hukatana was forced to go back to Tribal. You and Zach talked afterwards? Yeah, and I want to try to be Victoria. Harry and Katie felt secure in their plan to take out the rest of the tribe. I will say this, Katie is going to the finals with me. However, we still but, want him to fight hard for our yeah, team, but, and we want to have his inside data. So, so enter if, Holly. With Holly on board to turn on her Quidditch alliance, a plan was devised to take out Harry's closest ally in Katie. So Which she's going to vote so for So he's not going to freak out as much. You know what I mean? And at Tribal Council, it became clear that Katie and Harry were unaware of the plan. I hope that whoever gets voted off realizes that we love them anyway, and it's just something that we had to do. Katie, the tribe has spoken. Eleven are left, but only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? That's it. It's free to go. That's smart. It also caught me by surprise, and I'm pissed because I let her down. Plus, it's Katie, and she's awesome. But no, I'm super pissed about that. Everything went according to plan. Whose plan? I don't know. Yes, I do. It was mine. I feel enormously cocky right now, which is. Terrible because the look on Harry's face was heart wrenching. Point five percent of me feels bad for voting them off. The rest of me is like they tried to play the shit out of Victoria, and then when they got played, they're like, "Wait, this wasn't supposed to happen. Didn't you know this is the story of our victory? I'm not just gonna sit here and let somebody take my money. I'm gonna sit here and let somebody take my prize. Like, you're gone." Harry knows there's a target on his back, but here's the catch. If he doesn't put in for the team, he knows he's up. So we best win that team challenge or he's going home. Either way, it's a win-win for everybody on Hukatana, and that's how you play the game. Didn't really like the way it turned out because it kind of threw me under the bus as the uh, one who flipped. That was a little nerve wracking for me because all those votes, just one more could have taken me out. But having the last three, me and Kenny, was just a little bit sweeter to see Harry's face. <laughs> I know I can trust Holly. I gotta put my faith in Zach. Otherwise, I'm screwed. This is the group is fine. We need a win. Yeah. We need a win. Here's the thing that's in the right now. The three people that voted for Katie, you're not going to go across me. My friends. Yeah.
And I don't care. It's you us three. Bye. I will one train on everyone. I've carried this team so far. You don't want to piss me off, and you sure as hell did. It's already at the So now I know. Victoria, Faluke, and Terry, they're fucking coming for you. And I will break you. Actually. Yeah. Let's get to the merch. We'll figure it out there. Terry's really pissed. And I think he might murder me when he sees the uh, episodes, but <laughs> I think Harry trusts me, and I want him to, because I think when the merge happens, we can work together. Harry's targeting, like, me and Felipe now, which is ridiculous, because if he actually thinks about that, I know, like, Harry, actually, get your shit together. Harry, the thing is, he was trying to pull something that he thought would be a blind side, and we ended up pulling it on him, and it's Survivor. Things happen. I fucking hate Victoria. I think she's a backstabbing bitch who can't compete at this game. She's literally not good at the challenge. She's actually the worst person in this right now, and that pisses me off that she's still around. I don't really understand what his thought process is, because since he was targeting me, it's very obvious that I would have, you know, like pulled out my guns and targeted like his alliance. The fact that he did reach out to Holly and Zach and both said that they felt bad about voting for me and just pitched their vote towards Terry, like it wouldn't have worked if they hadn't done that. And so logically, I don't really know why he still thinks they're on his side. I think he's in denial. Right now, I got Victoria on my finger. Got Terry on my second finger. I got Zach, he's a little flaky, and he's gonna cause some problems, but little does he know that I already set up for him to leave. Not really, but I mean, he can't win if I'm gonna win, so. Then Holly. So, we're going in five strong. I just, I honestly feel like the Beyonce of Survivor. I, I was kind of concerned about Zach, um, but I think he's he's thinking with the merge and he's thinking in the long term and right now that long term includes me it includes the alliance and i think right now we're in a really good position today victoria asked me why are you doing all this to keep me because easily when i heard harry and katie were voting out victoria i was like i could really get rid of victoria right now but then i was and i was like no girl you're in my alliance it's friendship victoria and i are friends and i hope she doesn't double cross me but i know that i've done her a solid which was keep her today Felipe and I like split up. We went to search. Like Felipe had told me before that she wanted to search with me, but I don't know if she'd like ever gone out herself. <laughs> Literally it took me five where, minutes. I will show you. Oh my god. Literally, I was like, okay. I was unbelievable. Like me, Felipe. I felt like I was going home. Like I was in danger. Like last episode was my prime. Little did I know I was just reaching my prime. Like. Yes, I was so ecstatic because I didn't believe I could find it. I really didn't. Victoria, go this way. <laughs> me, go that way. We split up and she called me like four minutes after the split. She was like, I have it. I was like, are you kidding me? I spent so much time looking for that. And I was like, okay, where are you park leafy bark? And I was like, everyone's looking underneath the tree. The only place that's leafy is back there behind the parking garage. And at first I thought it was litter, and I was like, these kids need to learn about recycling, upcycling our environment, like just leaving all kinds of crap, because there were so many things I was like, oh, this is it. And it was like a bottle of water left behind. Right here, under some leaves. Bam! <laughs> Bam! Oh my gosh. I was looking for an artifact the whole time. That? Turns out it's a piece of paper. Are you serious? Yes. Is there something in it? And when I look at it, and the, the font is really yeah, light yeah. because of all the rain, I was like, congratulations! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Oh my Yo. gosh, this is fucking like, I feel like we're, oh my gosh, we are set. Um, I think this is the time where I have to officially tell you something because I think it was on the paper, but it probably got washed out. The paper finally was like wet. Yeah. You couldn't read most of it, right? Is it something bad? It's not bad. Just a little different. Um, you actually found the Rafiki tribe idol. <gasps> <laughs> Do I get to keep it still? Yeah.
<sighs> There's another one. There's one for each tribe. So, which also means there's another in the Mindy Idol based on my clue, which means I can go back out and find our other, which also concerns me because that means someone on our team still might have, damn it, have the idol. Well, at least I have this one, but this makes it far more complicated. Even though she told me that it's not actually the Hukatana idol, but you know, like having a Rafiki idol, having any idol, you know, that's good for us. And I don't think Fuluke is gonna backstab me. And I, at this point, I don't see that I have any reason to do the same to her. So I think we have a pretty like strong alliance right now and we can take it pretty far. And I know with a lot of power comes great responsibility. So I need to put my, my ducks in line. But right now I'm still feeling like Beyonce. You know, right now Victoria is my Kelly Rowland. Holy crap, girl. You could go all the way. You could fucking go all the way. Oh my gosh. Zach. Zach and Holly are fighting for Michelle, but at the end of the day, they're Destiny's child and they gotta go because I'm Queen Bee. Good morning, guys. Once again, Unity is back up for grabs. Uh, Rafiki, you guys are getting your first look at the new Hukutaro tribe. Katie, a little voted out last week. Pause, we're going to talk about Katie getting voted out. What the hell, Hukatana? Like, what are you thinking? You vote Katie out? Like, the strongest female um, asset on that team, in my opinion. So, and that's kind of screws me too, because, you know, when we got to the merge, I was going to obviously have an alliance with her. It's, uh, Harry. You, uh, we've heard some news about you, but did you share anything? <laughs> Tell us what happened. I just located my phone, put the board in my hand. And they weren't able to pop back in. It just sucks, because I know it hinders everything to do, because, like, I can win, like, every challenge that I'm fully healthy, and I literally cannot use my right hand. So, um, obviously he's going to be doing challenges, are you staying in the game? Yes. Alright, so Harry's staying in the game. Uh, I'm dropping the book. We're taking tries. No. I mean, I was so happy. I was no interest in being in that team. And I knew I was kind of fucked if I was on that team. Because you had four people who didn't want me around. It's not dirty! Oh god. <laughs> That's what my initials thoughts <laughs> are. Helped me immensely because then I had a new group of people to work with, and those alliances were basically shattered. A few hours in the training. Ali stays on Mukatana. Harry stays on Mukatana. Right. Zach was on Rafiki. Immediately when you said tribes off, I was like, oh man. And then when Zach pulled out red, I was like, this has to be red. I have to pull a red or I'm so screwed. Blue Gay stays on Hukatana. <laughs> so red. Harry's on Rafiki. And luckily I did, and luckily we have uh, me, Victoria, and Zach, original uh, Hukatana, so hopefully I can rely on that. Full strategy. Marina stays on Rafiki. Alex is on Hukatana. Royce is on Hukatana. Nay stays on Rafiki. Eric's on Hukatana. All right, get with the new tribe. Get the new tribe. I was kind of shocked, and I wasn't very happy with the results. I wish that I had like Harry, Eric, and Marissa on my tribe. This is the new Hukatana. We got Polly, Harry, Marissa. Eric, Fluke, Alex. We have the, the, the height and the strength. And, the and on Rafiki, whoa, we got Victoria, Sabrina, Zach, Kane, and Terry. I was pretty upset because our tribe was pretty tight. I wasn't very happy with my new tribe. Alex, how do you feel about switching tribes? I wasn't. I 
I'm kind of sad about having the board switch, but now seeing this team, I'm pretty <laughs> stoked. Zach, they said they're, uh, they're going to dominate you. What do you think about this new team? Little do they know, I knew this was going to happen when I poisoned the ball. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get to the challenge without further ado. For today's challenge, uh, this is the Apache Relay. It's the Rain Relay. Uh, we're actually because Taylor Ruffalo, as I said that, so they're going to help. Alright, survivor's ready. Go! Arian's back to the Jack is one of the first stars. Going high. Ooh, just barely off. Here he goes, he hits the top one. Here he goes, he hits the middle one. Zach goes, he hits the top one. It's two to two. Harry almost hits the bottom. And Zach goes wide. Zach hits it. Trafiki's moving on. Kane going through the soccer. Kane just booted it. Trafiki in the lead early. Harry is still working on the bolos. He's struggling with that last one after an early start. But this is a long challenge. Harry finishes it. Alex takes the fumble. And now here comes Alex for Hukatana starting off with the factory. He's at a much better pace than today. A good lead for Rafiki. Today struggling. Alex making up time. Two goals and they can move on the wheel there. That's dead in the butt. Kane goes hard. Oh, it's tough in the butt again. And Kane is down. Down goes sick. And the mud is making this real difficult. Here comes Alex. And just like that, we are tied up. Kane goes hard. That's a goal. One goal. He's got to go down. Down the hill. Here comes Alex. Now that's the fetch the ball. Alex gets stuck right in the butt. Right away went four feet. <laughs> Here's Alex, goes through, that's wide right. Kanae's tiring out. Alex with one goal, he's got to chase it now. Kanae goes hard, that's wide left. Now he's got to chase that one, that's a dagger. Big turn of events, Sukatana now on the, with the edge. Can Alex put it through? Wide left. Alex Kane wide left. He's got to go again. Ah, uh, these are costly errors. A big chase for Kane. Exactly tied right now. Who will get it through first? They just need one more goal. They're exhausted. Alex goes wide right. Watch out, Alex. Watch out, Alex. Here comes Kane. Taking his time. Kane goes. Right through. Hukatan and Rafiki moving on to the wheelbarrow. Zach and Terry starting off through the mud. Here comes Hukatana, Eric, and Faluke right behind. Zach and Terry going, Terry slowing down. Eric and Faluke are catching up. Sabrina running to cheer them on. Terry struggling. He's about two thirds of the way there, but they're catching up. Terry's down. Terry's down again. And now Faluke and Eric are passing. They're going sideways. Terry's struggling for the last game. Gotta get to the cones. Gotta get through the cones. Through the cones. Through the cones. Faluke gets through. They're good. Terry and Zach right behind. They lost up a lot of time. Holly and Harry working for Hukatana. Sabrina and Kane working. You're solving four out of five. You need four out of five correct. Four. Holly thinks she has it. Steve judging. They're good. 
who Katana's moving on. Quick stall by Holly and Harry. So now the slingshot. You gotta find the marbles, get one, and then hit the tin. Here comes Holly. That one goes straight up. That, that's not gonna do it. Ooh, yeah, hit the outside, hit the outside. Almost for Holly. You're under arrest. Foreign language. What'd you say? Forgive or cadet. You have two. What? You have two. Three. They still got a lead. Hits it! And Hukatana's moving on! The dominoes are where this challenge is decided. Your hands are cold, it's raining, it's a little windy. Marissa starting off. Sabrina and Kane still on the brain teasers. Marissa with the big lead. And now here comes Rafiki. They're a little bit behind, but Domino's is a great equalizer. We all know. <laughs> here comes Kane. Struggle on the brain teasers. Now, oh, that one straight down. That's all. He's got it in the Marissa making early progress. They still got a lead. Kane's struggling, and it falls. She's got a good setup, though. Katana looking to win after the tri swap and avoid tribal council with an unfamiliar tribe. Kane still working on the slingshot. Still can't get it. Kane way off again. Now Sabrina trying it. So watch. Hey! They hit it and here they come. All right, everyone's got to not touch the table. The dominoes are right there. You start from the start from the marker. It's gotta hit, touch the marker to start, and then fall off from here. Start from the side. Yeah, Marissa getting close. Victoria's gonna have to make quick work. And Marissa's fall down. Keep going, keep going. But she's getting set up. Still way behind. She breaks her whole setup. Victoria's starting off. She's going close together. Those fall. Everybody have gloves. Harry talking a little trash to his former tribe mate. Lead for Marissa. I told you, your hands are shaking. You must be cold. Yeah, you should go inside and get a sweater. You want to do that for me? No, no, no. I think you should go do it. You're okay. Well, dead even. This would be a huge victory. The wind picking up a little bit. They fall down. They're toppling. And the last bit falls over Victoria. Marissa's getting close. She's almost at the end. Are they right? And they fall down right before she's going to touch it. But she's still got most of her stack. Victoria trying to set it back up. <laughs> the stack's toppling over at the last second for everyone. And Victoria's fall down. This could be the opening that... I can't even remember the trying to... Who Katana needs? Thank you, Faluke. Victoria's about halfway done again. She's got to catch up quick. Or hope the Mercers don't fall. Marissa getting it, gonna go, she taps it! Yeah! And it falls off! Hukatana wins immunity! Good job! Good job! In the cold and rain, Marissa sets up the dominoes first. Hukatana wins immunity, Rafiki. Tribal Council. That's Marissa, there you go. Hukatana, you're safe from the boat, how do you feel? Awesome! Yeah. Good. Got it from, well, new. Now we're here! All right, you guys are safe. You got a few days off. Go get, go inside, get warm. <laughs> the tribe saw it worked out for the best for me. I feel like I got a really stacked tribe. Which showed that when we uh, won the challenge. Alright, let's I get inside. I just looked at the Let's table. Let's celebrate inside. Can we talk inside? Yes.
I feel like Kane and Sabrina probably might be screwed over considering there's more ex Hukatana members on that tribe than and whereas uh on our tribe it's pretty even right now. So I had my ducks in line of how we were gonna get to this merge and then the team switch. And then I was like, crap, Harry's on my team. He's so mad at me. I think our team did really well. Um, it's good that we won because I'm safe, everyone's safe. It feels good to go back the next couple days without that pressure, but at the same time, it's a new team, and I'm not going to sleep on the fact that we need to make plans. I don't know, I was surprised when you switched the tribes, but what sucked is what the tribes became. It basically became like the powerhouse versus the underdogs, but I mean, we kept up well in that challenge, except there were a few spots where they couldn't, like, like even Terry, like, collapsed on the wheelbarrow, like, it's not that hard. And then Sabrina and Kanae couldn't fucking get the easiest, like, 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 big fish in a small pond is not that hard. Tides have turned. I'm not happy. This whole new, like, tribe spot thing really pisses me off because I have nobody in my alliance on my team. I had to make friendly with Kane, like, but he's been mainly going with what Eric and Mar Marissa say. So he never really knew I was part of that alliance. He just thought I just happened to vote with them, I think. But yeah, so now I feel like I'm just solo. I'll take anybody who wants me at this point. <laughs> yeah, all my old tribe, I felt like was in a good position, had a middle ground, um, a fair amount of power. Um, now in this new tribe with three new people, and then with Sabrina is the only person that I know. Um, she's the one person that I know that I can trust her to be in alliance with, but I don't think she's going to be here long, so I personally want Terry to go out just so I can keep Sabrina in for my leverage. I had talked to Zach like a month ago, and me and him like agreed to keep each other updated on what's going on with each other's teams, which we never really did that. And he said that he's good to vote out Terry with me, and I told him I could get Kanae to vote out Terry. Because I feel like Victoria and Terry are a bit awkward. Not to be mean, but they're not very chatty. They kind of keep to themselves. They're very reserved, whereas I'm loud and obnoxious, I think. So Zach and me are chatty. Like, you know, he's good at making small talk. I'm like Victoria and Terry. Okay. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How was your Monday? Um, it's been long. Yeah, I'm for sure. I'm predicting that Victoria and Terry were going to vote together and they're probably going to vote for me because everyone votes for me. I don't know why. <laughs> I like to think I'm likable, but <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> God, I am so glad that us three pulled that. Yes, I am so glad. I did so much. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not actually unhappy because while we did lose the challenge, this gives us an opportunity to just grow our own power and get rid of numbers on the old Rafiki side. As long as we stick together, yeah. like we shouldn't have an issue, but I'm thinking Sabrina. Sabrina has connections to the other side. Uh, she was the one who was always with uh, Katie and she immediately went to Zach trying to plead her case. I think you can probably Sabrina. Yeah. Obviously from challenges and she's got connections on the other yeah. side yeah. and she flips easily. So. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think she should have been out a long time ago strategic wise. Um, uh, she kind of scares me. But, I mean, I guess as long as Zach's on our side, it's good to have that in, yeah. you know. Hopefully Sabrina goes home for me. Right now I'm relying on Hukutana, original Hukutana. Sabrina came to talk to me about voting for one of Terry Victoria, and I was thinking about siding with them because they have a larger alliance overall with the people in Survivor. So when the merge comes, it would be good to have them, but on the other hand, I don't trust Sabrina. Tonight's vote, I'm pretty confident. We're coming in with like three old Hukutana team members. And as long as everything works out well, we'll just maintain our alliance of three and get rid of the other two. It definitely comes down to Zach tonight, whether or not he's going to go for me or go for Terry. If he votes with me tonight, that kind of shows that we got something going on here. So let's hope. Go down. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're voting Terry. <laughs> we get to the merge and get Eric and Marissa back, and I think life will be good.
new Rafiki tribe. <laughs> Welcome to Travel Council. Um, Sabrina, I say drop your buffs. What's your reaction? Um, I was not seeing that coming, but, you know, I like my tribe, so this, it was good. It was time to switch it up a bit, make new friends. Victoria, what about for you? What was your reaction leaving your old Hukatana tribe? I guess I'm kind of glad. Um, the last tribal was definitely a switch up, and I know that, like, it really separated us. Um, and I really like having this opportunity to get to know Kene and Sabrina, who I really didn't interact with before. So, you know, it's been really nice. I actually really like this tribe a lot more. Zach, the old Hukatana tribe and the old Rafiki tribe, were there tensions there? Were they friendly? I mean, what were the relationships between the two tribes? We didn't really converse that much. And uh, up until the switch, like, I didn't really talk to anyone on the other team. So, so does that mean that there is a tribal split to this vote? No, I mean, we're talking. We, we were, like, I think everyone, like, got to know each other when the switch happened. Sabrina. And with 11 people left, the merge could come anytime soon. Do you think the challenges are still the, the main factor in the vote? Um, I feel like it's definitely part of it, but you know, going into the merge, you don't want very strong competitors. So I feel like that could play a factor into the votes from here forward. So Tara, you've had, you know, a couple of days to get to know Kane and Sabrina, whereas you've been on a tribe with Zach and Victoria for, for weeks now. Does that mean you you know, are you able to just fully trust them, or do those old ties, at least to an extent, still hold? I mean, it's, it's hard to trust new people. You don't really know what else, what's going on, what the relationships are, kind of at least I don't. But, you know, you gotta just put your faith in certain people at certain points in the game, you know, see how it plays out. So, can I now, being on a new tribe, do you feel like you could be a target? Yeah, uh, I definitely think so. Sabrina, what about you? You know, you, your tribe came in, you down 3-2 the old tribes. Yeah, of course, like me and Kene, and you're going based on like tribal alliances that were established previously, like we're obviously not in the majority alliance, the three and the two, so that can make it either one of us a target. So Zach, does it make sense to stick with the old tribal alliance and just keep that numbers advantage? I mean, not after the, uh, the challenge we had, we kind of saw everyone's strengths and weaknesses, so it changes everything. Terry, what do you think went wrong with, in the challenge for your tribe? I think a lot of us uh, struggle with certain parts of the ass. For my part, with the wheel bar, I completely fucked up. Uh, fell a lot of times, face planted one time. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of kind of sucks to be shit, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who else feels like they screwed up in the challenge? I feel like you know me and Kane probably could have gotten those braid teasers a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like when it comes down to it, we all did perform our best, which is why we lost. Which is why we did. So was it hard to vote someone out tonight? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's always hard. Okay. So Except that first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have talked about a mix of challenges and loyalty. You know, ultimately, this game does come down to votes and where the alliances and where the loyalties lie. So we'll find out tonight. It is time to vote. Um, start off with Victoria. What's up? What's up, guys? I'm sorry, but I'm voting you out. Sorry, Sabrina. Since you got really unlucky that all Hukatana's alliance came up on this track. Man, I like these scented markers. Woo! Wow. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. What? If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> Alright. Once the votes are ready, the decision is final. First vote out will be asked to the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Sabrina. Sabrina. Third vote. Terry. Terry. That's two votes, Sabrina. Two votes, Terry. 
One vote left. Fifth vote. Sixth person voted out of Survivor Terrapin Trials. Sabrina. That's three. Night, that's it. <laughs> Sabrina, the tribe has spoken. It's not for you anymore. Well, I just got voted out, so fight sucks. It's been a fun run here at Survivor. Me and Katie can rock the kicked off Survivor life. <laughs> um, I don't really have much else to say other than screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Looks as if old tribal lines won't die hard. You guys gotta figure out what you're doing. Um, that's it, I'm back. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next time on Survivor. Two tribes struggle through a scavenger hunt. And Faluke attempts an unprecedented move. So today I had a brain blast. Zach has the hidden immunity idol. Because I was like thinking about it when I found it, I was like, I've seen this before, but where?